Hey, how's it going? Patriot reporting for duty. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a fab day so far. And today we will be reacting and looking at the top 100 FIFA 19 player ratings. That is right. We've got the 100 to 31 on the EA website and the top 50 have been leaked all over the internet, probably due to the demo being released shortly. Let me get into that later. We'll be talking about the FIFA 19 demo release date, which is official, and the possible FIFA 19 web app release, which I'm really looking forward in, like really looking forward to. Can't wait to actually get in the web app open with packs. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Okay, number 100, as you have probably seen this before, it is Manolas, 85 overall. Apparently, one of the quickest central defenders in the game with 83 pace, which is a solid. Uh, I'm guessing Serie A players will have a lot more popularity due to Ronaldo moving to the league. So I'm expecting some more Serie A squads uh, compared to last year. Then we have Riyad Mahrez who has moved to uh, Man City from Leicester City recently. From one city to another. Ibrahimovic. I'm sure most of you have seen them ratings already so I'll move down real quick. If you want to see the top uh, 30 ratings just scroll down in the video go forward by like a couple of minutes You'll see the top 50 ratings and there's a big shock in mind between Messi and Ronaldo I haven't been expecting that I'm guessing you haven't as well They're not official because I've seen different ratings being released before but apparently this is the real deal guys So let's carry on Ibrahimovic 85 overall. It's a shame his pace is only 59 Sterling once again 85 a really good card on him. I think solid card for Sterling then we have my Tweedy 85 Asensio, 85. Savage, 85. That's a fair rating for him. Wouldn't be surprised if he got an 86. He's been really great um, in the Serie A. Kimish for Bayern Munich. And he has got the right back card. He has got a defender card, which is a shame because he'd be a really good centre mid with those stats. Preferably, like, I'd prefer him in centre mid over right back, you know. Especially the 73 pace. That's going to hurt a little. But anyway, let's carry on. We have Ed and Dzeko from Roma, 85. Koke, 85. Royce, 85. Felipe Luis, 85. Not a bad card on him. Company, 85. Robin, uh, with a big pace downgrade. 79 pace on Robin is unthinkable. He always had, like, 90 plus face on almost every FIFA. Allison with a nice thick beard, 85. Let's see how he performs for Liverpool. Is there a curse on the goalkeeper? Mm. Alaba, 85. Fabinho, 85. Vidal, 85. Van Dijk. Interesting rating for Van Dijk, 85. I personally think it's a fair rating, especially as a United fan. But a lot of you Liverpool fans, I'm guessing, would, would be happy with a higher rating for Mr. Virgil van Dijk. Diego Costa 85. Guys, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be bringing you FIFA 19 content as soon as it comes out. I'm getting the game early. I pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition. I'll be getting it as fast as I can and I'll be streaming as soon as I get it. So be sure to subscribe for all the FIFA 19 news videos and streams. Might be even doing a giveaway. Not promising anything, but I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of it. Like, I can't speak. Sorry, it's too early. It's 11 a.m. and I've been working, okay? Anyway, Nine Golan 85, he's got a decent card. 85 is an okay rating. Alexandro, we are stepping up into the 86 uh, area. And Alexandro has a solid card once again. 85 pace on him. 83 physical, 82 defending, 81 dribbling. Benatia, 86. Now that's controversial. Putting him above Van Dijk. That is controversial. But he has got a good card as well. Uh, Parejo, 86. He's one of those cards you just don't know exists. Like, unless you're a Villarreal fan, sorry, Valencia fan. Uh, you just don't think of him, and he's got an 86 overall. Good for him, I'm happy for him. Matic with 86 as well. Only shame is he's got 56 pace, but the game apparently isn't as fast as the latest FIFA, so maybe, just maybe, 56 pace won't be tragic. But probably will be. Anyway, Douglas Costa with 86 overall, 95 pace, 8... Sorry, 91 dribbling, 75 shot, 81 passing. That is a good card for Douglas Costa. People will probably be using it once again. More popularity in Serie A due to Ronaldo? I think so. Azpilicueta, center back, 86. Uh, deserves the rating, in my opinion. Really good center back. Now, though, with an 86 as well. Fernandinho, it's an okay card for Fernandinho. Pjanic, Sane, Panucci. 
Oh, Boateng with an 86 as well. I'm pretty sure his card has been downgraded for the last couple of years. Well, it used to be one of the best defenders in the world, in my opinion, the best defender. But then the whole thing, Messi, the whole thing with Messi happened when he humiliated him, and I think he lost his confidence. He was like, Do "You know what? I'm done. I'm done being the best." Miller with 86. He he always gets that 86 rating, don't he? I don't think he deserves any higher. Probably not any lower as well. Edison for Man City, 86. Really um, a generous boost of rating for him. Firmino, 86. I reckon he can be 86, 87 fairly. Maybe not quite 87, but I wouldn't be surprised if they gave him an 87. I think he probably would have deserved it with the whole, you know, comparing all the ratings next to each other. Verratti, look at that. Verratti with 86, 65 pace, 60 shot. I, I don't know where his stats are. His key stats are passing and dribbling, I guess. Not bad defending as well. But anyway, Otamendi with 86. Oh, I hate him so much. You can like my city, you can like him, but what he's done in the World Cup was absolutely nasty. You know what I'm on about, I hope. Any anyway, Thiago with 86 and Ozil with 86. We're getting up into the top 41. Well, 60 to 41. I'll skip through these quite fast to show you the leaked ratings in a second. Don't worry, guys. I got him. I got him here. I'm going to pull him up in a second. Mane with 86, Perisic with 86, Varane, and those cards look quite good, don't they? Not gonna lie. Even Perisic as a left mid with 86 pace looks promising. Going back to Varane, solid card for him. Immobile, 87, that's a big boost for Immobile. Sanchez, 87. Mm. Koulibaly, really nice card on him. Mertens. I'm surprised he didn't get a high rated card, like an 88 at least, you know, especially since we have some shockers on the next page. Icardi, 87, Navas, 87, Aubameyang, 87, really nice card. I wonder how much he'll cost. I mean, in the first stage, he'll probably cost close to a million, just under a million, I think like 700k he'll cost. Iniesta, interesting to have him still on FIFA, even though he moved uh, to Vizel Kobe, which is obviously... A team in the Japanese league, I think. Yeah. Jordi Alba, 87. Like you, I always like using him on FIFA. He has such a good left-back card. He usually is the best base left-back card for a team, if you can link him in. Vintongen with 87. Amtiti, Hamshik, Lukaku with 87. A surprise he didn't get an 88 or an 89. Well, 88, I think, would have been fair for him. Rakitic, 87. PK, Mbappe, really nice card on him. Good moves by A to give him a right wing 87 card. All his stats look solid. I think he deserves them. I think they did a good move. Thiago Silva is the final player, number 41. And now we are in the final 10 officially confirmed ratings. Then we'll go into the leaked ratings. And I'll take this time to talk more about the demo, which will be coming out on the 10th, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow? We're getting the demo tomorrow. I should be more happy about this. I I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow, officially. And then, the web app is meant to be coming out on the 19th of September, so in nine, 10 days from today. Insigne, 88 card, surprised by his high rating, but then again, he is a really, really good player, is he not? Look at that, 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 8, 76 shot, 84 passing. Handanovic, 88. Higuain, 88. Casemiro, 88. Rodriguez, 88. Buffon! Nice card on Buffon, even though he's in PSG. Ericsson! 88. Ah, oh, Ericsson, my man. I like him. I like Ericsson. Scored two goals against Wales yesterday. And I wouldn't be surprised if he got a higher rating than that. I think 88 uh, wasn't too generous of EA. Pogba, 88. I think that's a fair rating for Pogba. Uh, I reckon he has potential. Uh, he showed it in the World Cup. But then again, he's not doing that well under Jose. I hope things, you know, settle down between them two and the whole club this year. But will it happen? I don't know. Sergio Busquets, 88, get lost. He should be 82. Bale, 88. So these are all the official ratings. Guys, let's get right into the leaked ratings. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you made it all this way. And here are the leaked player ratings. I'm going to start from the very top, talking about Ronaldo and Messi, joint number one players on the game. I mean, joint ratings on the game, sorry. That's what I'm trying to say. That's a shocking move. I don't think Ronaldo and Messi ever had the same rating, at least not in the recent FIFAs, you know, FIFA 12 or 14 onwards. 
It's a it'd be an interesting move by EA. It'd be it'd be interesting, especially since Modric won the Player of the Year from UEFA or whatever. Messi didn't even get top three. Ronaldo was second. How can you put Messi, who wasn't even in the top three, on the same rating as Ronaldo, who was second, and Modric on 91? Now think about that for a second. Anyway, <clears throat> do I agree with it? No. I reckon that Ronaldo had a better season, especially in the Champions League, especially um, in um, Portugal, if you count in all the international games. And if you look at his performances in most of the trophies he's played in, apart from the Super Cup, which I don't think he played in, I might get the cup names mixed up. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about who's better. What I'm trying to say is, I think Ronaldo should be 94, Messi should be 93. Will it be 94, 94? We'll find out in the next couple of days, probably two, three days, which I'll might review. Neymar 92. <clears throat> overrated De Bruyne 91 Modric 91 if he's the best player in the world give him a 93 at least like uh, let's be real here you can't just name him the best player which is come quite as a shock to some people and not give him a 93 at least Hazard, De Gea, Ramos, Suarez both are 91 <clears throat> now I'm a little surprised by Suarez being 91 and Lewandowski not being 91 Suarez should be 90, Lewandowski should be 91. If you look at the stats from last season, Lewandowski had one of the best goal per game ratio. I think he was second after Ronaldo uh, in the goal, goal per game ratio uh, average. He hasn't played that many games in the Bundesliga. Uh, if you look at his goal per minute, I'm sure it's around the 90 minute mark. Could be a bit better than that actually, which is shocking. Because, uh, you know, he played in big leagues, like Champions League, Bundesliga wasn't easy. Obviously, you can say that it's um, a farmer league. But if you look at other legends who play there and other players who play there, they are rated highly. While well, Lewandowski is usually a little a little undermined. After that, we have uh, Godin, Cruz, Neuer, Courtois, Higuain, all on 90. Well, I already know it's fake because Higuain has just been proven to be 88. Okay. Scrap this. I literally thought this was a good leak, but looking at the ratings now, they don't match up. I'm pretty sure we've seen a Higuain on 88. Okay. Sorry, lads. The ratings are a bit off. It's probably leaked by, you know, the sun or whatever to get more views. I actually didn't realize until now, but I've seen some leaked ratings earlier beforehand, and it looked like... Ronaldo and Messi, we're going to get 94 and 93 to Ronaldo, 94 and 93 to Messi. Suarez was meant to be on 91 or 92. Lewandowski had the same rating as him. Well, that's shocking. I Also, I do reckon EA could make some changes, but if they release in the official ratings, then that'll be the final thing. I wouldn't trust that. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. I actually didn't realize until now. I feel kind of dumb about it. I just thought to myself, wait, Higuain and Lewandowski being both 90, that doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't. So, in my prediction, top 5 should be Ronaldo, Messi, Modric, Lewandowski, and De Gea. Maybe Ramos. Around the, sim you know, around the similar ratings, anyway. Around that order as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll bring you more FIFA content streams, videos, all that good stuff. Have a lovely day, guys, and I'll see you with another video.